this relentless stuff starting juggernaut goes on. Gary Anderson, is it a nervous smile tonight, Wayne? I, I don't think so. I just think that Gary's so believing in his own ability now that he, he just takes it for what it is. And we've heard him so many times about, oh, if I win, I win, lose, I lose. And normally I don't believe in all that. But with Gary, it, it just seems that he's so happy with, with his life and, and what he's achieved now. He's got that monkey off his back by winning a world title. We backed that up and now he just seems happy. He achieved a draw with Michael Van Gerwen, average 103, 50% on the doubles. Good night's work. Yeah, excellent night's work. And Michael kind of put Gary under all sorts of pressure and he didn't buckle at all. And unlike Jella Klassen, who started off really well, really well in his first match against Peter Wright last week, he just couldn't keep it going and he kind of missed too many doubles. And if he does that tonight, he'll struggle because it's likely that he's going to have to rely on Gary to miss doubles. Working on his image as well, hashtag yellow time. Yeah, I think it's superb. <laughs> Look, he's got it. Oh, he's got it, all right. He's got it, all right, that is for sure. John Park, Rod Stud in commentary. Stop, yellow time. 180 start for Klassen. Against the former world champ. No, no data, not yet anyways. Just witnessed our first draw of the night between Phil Taylor and James Wade. Second draw of the tournament. The last one featured Gary Anderson in that 6-6 stalemate with MBG last week. That very much, you would say, John, a, a bonus point. Even for, for Gary Anderson, anything you can take off Michael Van Gerwen is a good result. So the onus on Klassen here tonight. Well, Gary will tell you he, he threw away a chance for two, though. You, you have to be greedy when you can. You don't get to the top without 
Always feeling like you missed out, even when you were maybe fortunate. Well, he was 6 5 up, to be fair, wasn't he? So, but nevertheless, a draw there, a good result. Double 10 for class and for a blockbusting start, and in just 11 darts. And not much more than a few nanoseconds, the Dutchman leads. One zip. That is what he can do, John, isn't it? Oh, I think he's been fantastic for the last few years, just with the exception of he, he can't seem to get Gary Anderson's number. Maybe tonight's the night he does so. Gary is maybe at this point in facing class, and he's, he's got to find ways to motivate himself that he needs to play his best. And, well, that first leg from class, and that should do that. Well, you're alluding to Anderson's run of eight consecutive wins over Yellow Class, and the last of which was last weekend the uh, UK Open qualifiers and the one prior to that was the semi-final of the World Championship the 2016 World Championship where class was dismantled six sets to nil and Anderson threw in a nine data you know it's odd because you think the talent levels are all roughly the same that it should be like coin flips on when two guys play each other but it isn't so much of the psychology in the head of winning and losing influences the results of matches once there's a history established. Klassen looking to buck the trend and looking to double his lead with 81. 12. The bull. Wow. He used to be known as El Matador, but he could not tame the bull there. Well, still needs some work here. He's got the treble 12, so double 13. What a finish from the two-time world champ. Real class under pressure. And left that odd finish and comes up with two trebles to a double. A rare low, two treble to double out shot. 119. 119, very much a rare bird. Lassen will have felt he was on to come back to mop up the residue after his bull attempt. But that did not occur, and the match now level. And Gerwin still to come against Wright, who beat him at the weekend. Peter Wright finally getting it right against MBG for the first time in 17 attempts, John. There was a sequence buster if ever there was one. And Michael Van Gerwen uh, didn't get to manipulate a trophy at all on the weekend. Didn't even get to look at one in a final. 96, Gary Gerwen, 105. Oh. Yes, two double tops was the attempt. He'll leave an attempt at tops unless class can clean up, 104. No. Uh, that's unlucky, isn't it? 54, Gary it's tops. As cool as that. So unflustered. And as well as Class has started this match, as well as he started it, he came out absolutely firing. And Gary just looked like on the brink of, of being in some kind of trouble. And now he's had a break of his own. And he's up a break of throw, looking to go 3 1. Yeah, the perfect choice of word by you there, John. Unflustered. And, and that is what Gary Anderson is these days. We saw him. Getting all sorts of flaps with flaky finishing four or five years ago, didn't we? All, all, all the time, that was what the criticism of Gary Anderson was. It, it, it looks like a completely different man. Wayne alluded to it on stage. The two world championships have made him a completely different man. He, he, he's just not phased or flustered by anything, is he? No, he's got the, that sense of skill that, and the ability to do it when he wants to. And, and it was so well demonstrated in our last match by Phil Taylor at times. The three, four, one high, uh, high out shots, and the one, four, two, just brilliant stuff to give himself a chance at the point. Maybe even two he could have had. Didn't hold throw, though. Anderson looking to hold throw here for a third consecutive leg and a 3-1 advantage. Over the Cobra. And Anderson strike again. Double top. 92. And now he's feeling desperate to get this. And a great start. 
Double tap himself. 100. Gary Rickland, 2-10. 3-1, Gary Anderson. And Gary sort of laughing at himself, chiding himself that he had to watch his opponent get a shot for the double top there. And he felt he should have had it himself the previous visit. Two times winner of the Premier League. 131. Gilla Klaassen making only his second appearance in the Premier League. Eight years on from his first appearance. 91. Where he ended up finishing seventh in the table. There are only seven left. That was the year that Marvel pulled out with illness. Many the times I've debated long into the night with Marvel, making the point that he finished bottom, not Klaassen. Who hits his second maximum. That's kind of you to remind him. Yes. Yeah. 140. Here we go, 90. 90 for Yeller. Went for bull tops. Now, what's bull? Would have been for a 12 data. This would be a real wound. Yeah, I think we saw that last week, Rod. But it's a bull needed this time, not double five. Just shifted that bull wire a little to the left. Double eight. Both men have missed the bull in this leg. Class cleans up. It's back to 3 2. You're so right, John. You saw the wire physically move on Anderson's bull attempt. Well, that was a fantastic uh, double eight by Classen because that other dart didn't help him one bit and he adjusted and just refocused and got it. And you can bet he feels under pressure. Russell at the moment averaging 101 and change. Anderson similar. Klassen, his last 10 televised darts matches has not averaged in three figures. Anderson in his last 10 has always averaged in three figures. 134. Klassen trying to buck the trend and to compete in this Premier League, John, you needn't apply if you can't average 100 on a regular basis. 140. Uh, this is. I don't know if this is about the Premier League right now for class, and as much as it is just getting that two-time world champion Gorilla off his back. Standing up for himself, saying he can't just take my bananas every time. Well, will it be a banana skin for Gary Anderson when he comes back for tops as he looks to go 4-2 in front because Yeller, all he can do here He's leaves something handy, and that is handy. That's his favourite double he's left. He's left double 18 if he returns. Yeah. He'll be returning all right, but it'll be to start in the seventh leg. Yeah, just ruthless efficiency on doubles by Anderson. Four of six now. Really a very good display of darts from the two of them. Almost identical averages. I have to say, though, although Glasson's in trouble here, uh, he really is giving a good effort. The Premier League rolls on into Yorkshire to Leeds next week. Tickets available for that one. And then Brighton and Exeter, then north of the border to Glasgow. And then across the sea to Rotterdam. Judgment night, Cardiff, March the 30th, that's the big one. Two players will be eliminated from the competition before the final fixtures are played until we reach the O2 Arena. For finals night, the Fab Four will be in action. Uh, on May the 18th, the week before, the GE All and Gas in Aberdeen to decide who the final four are. It's the biggest outshot. No hope, and he probably feels no hope the way Anderson's finishing 44. You can't expect you're getting another shot. For 5 2, with a break of the class and throw here, we'll have two darts for double top. Only needs one, and we're not surprised. Five of seven on double.
Yeah, brilliant finishing here from Gary Anderson. Quality composure. Class from the two-time world champ. In, in what class? He's five legs to two up on a fella playing as well as Klassen is. I mean, it's not a, a romp over where he's the only class player here. The Dutchman is throwing very well. No, it just doesn't matter what's thrown at Gary Anderson anymore. He can ride it out. And I, I just love the attitude of, like, I play my best, but get beat, I'll come back next week. Great attitude. Refreshing from Anderson. Well, yes, and that was proven in probably the most astonishing match of the World Championship where he beat Chizzy somehow. Yeah, he, he just fear losing, and that's evident in his play, and it's one that he wins. It's one two seven here. Fifty-five. Leave a two dot combination. 60, 72. A really enjoyable pace to this too, Rod. Right? Watch this sort of darts all night long. Oh, a rare loose start from Gary Anderson, although not critical because class and not on a finish. Yeah, it's nice when you can afford an error. From that error to this error, looking at tops. All ten then. Now, double five. Oh, last start in hand. Just when class thought there was an opening, some hope, it was extinguished. Anderson guarantees at least a point. But surely it will be both of them. Yeah, there was a shout of Olay somewhere, and it wasn't in the Matador's favour. The, the artist that you previously know as the Matador, anyway. There he is, six from ten, Gary Anderson. Those tales of double trouble in the past. Jokes about it now. Oh, and he can find the treble as well for a second the maximum of the match. Yeah, just when Class had thought he might be reeling off an easy leg. Nope. Sorry, Gary Anderson wants this one too. Well, clever use of the outer ball to leave Shanghai. Well, it would be a pitting finish. It would be the highest of the match, and it would complete a comprehensive victory, but it will not happen. Yep, 18s are the crucial point here. Another for double seven. And what a great outshot. He's been under nothing but pressure from Gary Anderson. Has an answer to keep it alive. The, the, the hope of a point. He must get two breaks, though, of the world champ. 174. Oh, for a man on the brink of defeat, that 1 2 2 was magical from the Dutchman. 131. He's tickling the ton with his average and he's still three legs adrift. 100. The world number two and second favourite for this title, second favourite for every title. A clear second favourite at that behind Michael Van Gerwen. Can Klassen put in a ton 40 here? No. Would have just given him a little bit of a chance. We oh, saw so Phil hit the 142. Gary doesn't need it though. Not like Phil did. Wow, that was something. It wasn't ever. Oh, 77, John Park goes misty-eyed about his World Championship winning finish from 2003. It's double ten here for Anderson. Double five then to clinch the win. Ooh, too much dance of gone. Double four. Oh, and the unexpected second dart bust. Just felt like it was going to be over that leg. But Anderson now just one for double two. And Gary Anderson completes a top class win over Yellow Class, and it was a brilliant performance. The Dutchman got out of the gate quick.
but Anderson very quickly slammed it shut on Klassen to win 7-3. And he now has three points from two games. And coming up next, it's his great rival, Michael Van Gerwen, who takes on Peter snake rights. Tough night at the office for Yella Klassen. Gary Anderson showing why he's a two-time world champion. 100 average from Anderson. 97 from Klassen. A convincing 7-3 win for the Flying Scotsman. This is what we've seen so far tonight, Adrian Lewis.